Yesterday, I saw a video on TikTok. One man used an 87 watt charger to charge an iPhone, and of course, I know the result. But the comments are interesting. Some I can read one. 87 watt? It will burn your phone because we just use 5 watt to charge. For mobile phone charging, we have met a variety of questions. Is the original charger the best? Do you need to unplug the phone after fully charged? Do you need to discharge the phone to 0% before you charge the phone for the first time? In this video, we will talk about some questions about the mobile phone charging that everyone cares about and attach the most concerned questions to the video. If we use a high-powered charging head to charge a mobile phone, what will happen? Okay, let's go. The first question, is the original data cable the best? Compared with some infra USB cables, original cable is better because the resistance of the bad data cable is higher and uh, it leads to more voltage drop. However, there are also some high quality USB cables made by big name, big brand manufacturer, which are can comparable in performance to the original USB cables. I have made a video about how to test the quality of a USB cable. You can have a look to see how to test the cable resistance of a USB cable. The second question. Does the charging environment affect the phone? At present, lithium batteries are widely used. In low temperature environment, the low temperature protection of the lithium battery will make the phone unable to charge or charge very slow. While in the high temperature environment, the lithium battery itself is not stable and the charging will cause the battery to heat up. It will shorten the battery lifespan or even make it explode. The third question, charge the mobile phone when it has no power. Generally, we all have a thought. It is better to discharge all the battery power and then recharge this idea was correct in the past because most of the rechargeable batteries we used in the past are NIMH batteries which need to be charged after being discharged totally. However, as I said, the mobile phone is already using a leasing battery. You can charge it whenever you like. The fourth question, can I use my phone when charging? If the conditions permit, it is best to charge the phone when the phone is turned off. This method is good for the battery. Many people like to use their mobile phone while they are charging, which not only hurts the battery itself, but also harms the human body. And the fifth question, is there any harm in charging the phone for one night? Many people like to charge their mobile phone before going to bed. Me too. In the morning, the battery power is full. So some people think that it will have a bad effect on the mobile phone. 
However, it won't explode and the battery is okay. I have I have charged my phone in this way for two years and uh, it's already good to use. At last, we talk about the difference if we use a high power charger to charge a phone and see what will happen. Usually, the output of an iPhone charger is 5 volts per ampere. So it is 5 watt. And uh, you will find if you use the iPad charger, which is 5 volts 2.1 ampere, it costs less time to charge. But if we use a higher power charger, such as a 87 watt laptop charger, with a phone explode. Of course not, we can have a test. We use high power charger to charge the phones. And we can use our USB tester to test the charging current and the voltage. And we need an iPhone and an Android phone to test. The remaining battery of them should not be too low or too high. Okay, we have three chargers to test. This is a 87 charger for MacBook Quick Charge. It has PD Quick Charge mode and uh, support iPhone charge. And here it is a USB-C port. And this one, it is a 45 watt Xiaomi USB C charger. You can see the technical parameters here. It can provide 5 volt 3 ampere, 9 volt 3 ampere, 12 volt 3 ampere, 15 volt 3 ampere, and 20 volt 2.25 ampere. 5 charging mode. And the max power is 45 watt. And uh, this is a semi charger, and uh, it can support max 65 watt. But on this USB C port, it can only support. 45 max. You can see the USB C it support also 5 volt 3 ampere, 9 volt 3 ampere, 12 volt 3 ampere, 15 volt 3 ampere, and 20 volt 2.25 volt, uh, 2.20 volt and uh, 2.25 ampere and uh, 45 watt max on USB C port. Okay, now we use them to charge this iPhone and we will see make the iPhone explode when charging. We can use them to charge the phone one by one. Okay, we got one charge and we need to test the data. First, the 87 watts charger for MacBook. It can support the PD quick charge mode and the iPhone 2.4 ampere quick charge mode. We use it to charge the iPhone XR which can support PD quick charge mode and the iPhone 2.4 quick charge mode. And uh, insert the USB Tester TC66C and uh, insert to the power. Okay, turn on the screen and uh, to see the data. We can see the charging voltage is almost 9 volt and the charging current.
is one ampere, one point one ampere. I check the remaining battery. It is sixty three percent. So this eighteen seven watt MacBook charger can only provide nine volt. 1.1 ampere here. And you, and you may say you just test the iPhone, but you didn't test the Android phone. So I use this Android phone to test. It has a USB-C import. Okay, we have finished the test and uh, we can see nothing happened the phone doesn't explode and the charging current charging voltage is very normal and now we can talk about the reason first we can use this this is a USA port, and I don't know if you can see it clearly. There are four metal. Yeah, there are four metal scripts here. From left to right, there are VCC, data negative, data positive, and the ground. And you can also see it on the screen here. VCC and the ground are used to transport power. Data positive, data negative are used to deliver data. Uh, when you use quick charge mode to charge your phone, they will deliver the voltage signal that changes according to certain standard. When the signal matches the phone, the charger will provide high voltage or fine current so that it can provide this, uh, for example, 5 volt to 0.1 ampere or other 5 volt 3 ampere, 9 volt 2 ampere or such and so on. The USB-C charger this is USB charger. You can see it uses CC line to transport the signal. The charger will tell the charging information to the phone, and the phone will choose the voltage and current it can support. If the phone doesn't support any char quick charge mode in this uh, charger. The charger will provide 5 volt output. And we can make a conversation. Now, the PD charger says, I have 5 charging mode. The phone said, Roger says, I want 5 volt 3 ampere quick charge mode. And the charger says, OK, I will provide 5 volt 3 ampere output. The phone says, okay, Roger says, the PD charger says, 5 volt 3 ampere charging mode is ready and you can start to charge. And the phone said, okay, I got that voltage and current and now I want 9 volt 2 ampere charging mode. The PD charger says, okay, I read Roger that. The PD charger says, okay, Roger that and uh, I will provide 9 volt to ampere output. The phone says, okay, 
and the PD charger says, "My volt to ampere is ready." The phone says, "Okay, I got that. Please keep my volt and two ampere. Don't change it." So in this test, we prove that it has no problem to use a high power charger to charge a phone, whether it supports or not supports its quick charge mode. The chargers will not output the voltage and the current directly, just like this charger, it can provide 20 volt and 2.25 ampere. It is your phone that decides the charging mode, and it will not explode if you use this high if you use this high power charger. Okay, thank you for watching this video, and I hope this video can help you. See you next video.